Good evening, India. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Here is a breaking news. Yes, Russia is sure in Ukraine. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is heading to Kyiv for an unexpected meeting with President Vladimir Zelensky to resolutely reject Russia's aggression against Ukraine, Tokyo said. His surprise trip comes as Chinese leader Xi Jinping holds talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Xi told Putin Monday that China and Russia share similar goals. Putin said Russia is ready to study China's proposal for resolving the situation in Ukraine. Western leaders have expressed skepticism about Beijing's role as a peacemaker. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense said a strike destroyed Russian caliber cruise missiles that were being transported by train in occupied Crimea. Xi Jinping sit downs for a second day of talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday, but Western allies remains skeptical of any breakthrough over the world in Ukraine with Washington saying the Chinese leader's visit provides diplomatic cover for Moscow. The first day in Russia for Xi was a carefully choreographed show of Mon Homi with a brass and serende, a photo op and lunch with his dear friend Putin. But it is the second day where the two leaders are set to get to war. The key question of global interest hanging over the talks is whether any outcomes will impact the conflict in Ukraine where Russia continues an onslaught that has triggered a mass humanitarian crisis and left tens of thousands dead. China in recent weeks has attempted to portray itself as an aspiring broker of peace calling for ceasefire and peace talks in a vaguely worded position proper released last month. Putin on Monday said that she had carefully studied China's proposals and promised an opportunity to discuss the matter according to a criminal readout. But there has been wide skepticism of China's position on resolving the conflict centered on concern that nothing offered by Beijing so far reflects Ukraine's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from its territory. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Monday hit out at this visit, remarking that it came just days after the International Criminal Court in Hague issued an arrest warrant for Putin. China feels no responsibility to hold the Kremlin accountable for the atrocities committed in Ukraine and instead of even Condemning them, it would rather provide diplomatic cover for Russia to continue to commit those very crimes. Washington's top diplomat said any calls for a ceasefire that does not include the removal of Russian forces from Ukrainian territory would effectively by supporting the ratification of Russian conquest as it would allow President Putin to reset and refit his troops and then restore the war at a time more advantageous to Russia. He added. Other than a New Zealand citizen has been killed in action in Ukraine, a report from CNN affiliate Radio New Zealand RNG confirmed Tuesday the man, a former New Zealand Defence Force soldier, died in a frontline battle in eastern Ukraine, RNG said, citing sources in the country. New Zealand's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said it was aware of the reports of his death. According to RNG, the soldier is the third new Zealander to be killed in Ukraine since the war began last year, RNG said. The hashtag PRC threatens war against hashtag Taiwan and others but wants to propose a peace plan to hashtag Russia, who initiated the war against hashtag Ukraine. Foreign Ministry Joseph Wu said on the Taiwanese Foreign Ministry Twitter account, we announced no idiots want peace, both advocates should immediately stop their threats, aggression and expansionism. Japan's foreign ministry has confirmed that Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv on Tuesday. In a statement, the ministry said Kishida would express Japan's solidarity and unwavering support for Ukraine and his respect for the courage and for several days of the Ukrainian people standing up to defend their homeland. 
You see, the surprise tips comes as Chinese leader Xi Jinping holds talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Moscow. His visit will be the first time a Japanese Prime Minister has visited a country or region with ongoing fighting since World War II. According to public broadcaster NHK, it will also be the first visit to Ukraine by an Asian member of the G7 grouping and the first by a United States ally in the region. The dual visits by Kishida and Z underscore deep divisions in Northeast Asia towards the war in Ukraine, with Japan pledging substantial aid for Kiev, while China remains a lone voice supporting an increasingly isolated Putin, now a global paria and suspected war criminal Kishida will travel to Poland on Wednesday, the ministry added in its statement. Glory Group TV, Delhi, India.